Ladies and gentlemen, the armed conflict in Yemen is escalating more and more with each passing day. For three weeks, airstrikes have been carried out there by the Saudi-led military coalition. In other words, Yemen is beside the civil war in a state of international war. In a statement from March 27, UNESCO Director General Irina Bukova urged all parties involved in military operation to preserve the Yemeni culture heritage. But how to protect culture heritage in Yemen? Al-Qaeda, Houthi rebels, growing Islamization and increasing radicalism, a failed state, a threat to the West, these are the headlines we meet when reading about Yemen today. The protection of culture heritage in Yemen is getting more and more difficult, if not even impossible. Also, the German Archaeological Institute, with its branch in Sana since 1978, conducted field research the last time in spring 2011, whereas other projects like capacity building measures for the general organization of antiquities and museum, shortly called GOAM, had to be stopped in Yemen end of 2013. Yemen, the ancient South Arabia, the land of the Queen of Sheba and the former Arabia Felix, Happy Arabia, is among the oldest and most multifaceted culture landscape on the Arabian Peninsula. Its heritage looks back up in millennia of years. Yet in view of the political unrest there today, this heritage is being forgotten more and more. Nevertheless, in addition to human suffering, insecurity and loss in community life, this crisis encroaches upon the culture heritage of Yemen as well, which until now was used in national dialogue and in the self-identifying representation of the state. However, the lack of or no longer effective mechanism of state control in the different Yemeni provinces have meanwhile led to the increasing destruction of its culture heritage. This destruction is secured through illicit diggings, plunder, unauthorized construction projects, and growing illegal trade in antiquities. For example, this is reflected by an enormous increasing number of South Arabian antiquities offered in auction houses. In order to pursue illegal trade in culture goods, the German Archaeological Institute is in close contact with the Yemeni antiquity authorities and the German Federal Criminal Police Office. Furthermore, reports about systematic illegal excavation have increased. Even before the present crisis, these were alarmingly active in regions in which the authority of the central government had little or no influence. And now they too have increasing with the spread of anarchy throughout large areas of the country. Nevertheless, so far, and let us hope that it will remain so, there is no indication of fanatical, religious motivated destruction of culture, artistic work like we saw before in the panel in Syria or in Iraq. This, I quote, attacked on the history, eradication of culture by religious fanatics will hopefully not become a future model for Yemen. The culture roots of Yemen are seen still as starting not in the Islamic past only, but even earlier in pre-Islamic times. Whether the Queen of Sheba, the Great Dam of Marib, or the rulers of Himya Empire in the Yemeni highlands who knew to unite the country and spread their authority over almost all of present-day Yemen. During our many excavations, we never experienced rejections or refusals. Quite the opposite, we met with much interest and tolerance, even marvel. Nonetheless, the culture heritage of Yemen, and with this I mean the pre-Islamic as well as Islamic legacy, is very threatened and stands in acute danger. The Yemeni antiquity authorities and also the general organization of the preservation of historical cities, uh, which is unfortunately not represented today by Dr. Naji uh, Sorabe, 
Also the Goam and Govsi, which aside from its main offices in Sana, have branches in all of the provinces, is responsible, among other duties, for pursuing and obstructing these illegal activities to protect and preserve the culture heritage and to impose counteractions. Imperative for the successful operation of these measures is the systematic recording and documentation following international guidelines of archaeological sites and archaeological material in collection and museums as well as object retrieved from illegal context. Nevertheless, only a few members of the Goam office possess a founded knowledge of modern methods for documenting cultural heritage. The president of Goa, Mohamed Alciani, is well aware of this problem and very engaged in seeking solutions. Already in 2012, a program for further education was initiated by the German Archaeological Institute in Sana. Due to unstable conditions in Yemen, however, this undertaking had to be prematurely discontinued. For this reason, the German Archaeological Institute, with the financial aid of the German Federal Foreign Office, will conduct a summer school, let's say, for employees of Goam in Berlin or an Arabian third country with secure conditions this year. Parallel to this, a further project will be set up by us. The most important international guidelines and measures for handling cultural material whose documentation and digital archiving will be published online and in the print version in Arabic in a form of an advisory, a handbook of best practices in handling with cultural heritage. Basically, Goam is well structured and as far as personal is concerned, well thought out. The central office assigned relatively independently acting directors to every province who were responsible for the site as well as the museums located there. The range of duties encompassed the study, protection, preservation, including restoration and conservation of archaeological sites as well as a presentation of the movable and unmovable culture material. The number of employees is relatively large, but still not enough, whereby most are concerned less with archaeological work and function more as guards. These guards stem from the traditional clans and tribes in the region of the sites and are chosen for this position with the permission of the head of the respective clan and tribe. On one hand, herein lies one important strength of the system. So the feeling of responsibility for local cultural heritage is correspondingly great. Yet, on the other hand, this tr uh, traditional tribal structure has the result that any influence on the part of the central state authority is more or less impossible. Hence, the attempt to nationalize an archaeological site that is located outside of an urban center almost never succeeds. Archaeological material found within a tribal region usually remains in that particular province, mostly even in the vicinity of the site in the tribal area. An example is the Sabain city of Sava, province of Marib, where one storage serves for keeping all finds of the area and is guarded by tribal members. And still it's in cont uh, intact, as I heard yesterday. The transference of the finds from this facility to the province capital Marib, located a mere 40 kilometers away, is as unthinkable as sending a few of the finds to the National Museum in Sana. For this reason, most provinces disposed over at least one central provincial museum as well as numerous site museums. The situation combined with the absence of a central program in which sites and finds are systematically <coughs> recorded makes an overview and control of museums holding and of archaeological sites, including plunder, theft, and so on, wholly impossible. Essential now is the creation of a specific education courses and advanced projects, as well as technical support for facilities in order to implement a data recording system that is as comprehensive as possible. 
including digital photographic documentation, if possible 3D, in order to document existing culture heritage and to identify objects in art trade and also possible looted goods. In the medium or maybe more long term, education and the creation of, of an unbiased culture historical understanding in the Yemeni society for their history and regional culture heritage are important elements for its protection and preservation. The German Archaeological Institute, together with its Yemeni partners, is attempting to contribute to these efforts in all areas. And this is also an appeal to the international community not forget, to forget Yemen, the former happy Arabia. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you for the organizer.